Just hours ahead of the swearing-in ceremony at Rashtrapati Bhavan at 7:15 p.m. on Sunday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi met a chunk of NDA leaders, many of whom are likely to get ministerial posts at the center. The leaders present at the meeting included Amit Shah, Rajnath Singh, Nitin Gadkari, Nirmala Sitaraman, Dr. S. J. Shankar, and Piyush Goyal, who were part of Modi II government. Others included BJP veteran Shivaraj Singh Chauhan, Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, JDU leader Rajiv Ranjan Singh, HAM leader Jitan Ram Manchi, and RLD's Jayanth Choudhury. A big difference between Modi 2 and Modi 3 is that the BJP's numbers in Lok Sabha have dropped below the majority mark and it now has to rely on NDA allies to cross the magic figure. This means that it needs to accommodate its allies in the Council of Ministers too. And Chandra Babu Naidu's TDP and Nidish Kumar's JDU are likely to get at least one cabinet berth and one minister of state post. The decisions on the new cabinet were taken after an 11-hour meeting at the Prime Minister's residence on June 8. Amit Shah, BJP Chief J.P. Nadha and the party's National General Secretary Organization B.L. Santosh were present at the meeting. Outgoing Home Minister Amit Shah, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and Roads and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari are likely to retain their portfolios. Nirmala Sitaraman and Dr. S. J. Shankar, both Rajya Sabha MPs, are also likely to retain their finance and external affairs portfolios, respectively. Among the other allies, Chirag Paswan of LJP, Ram Vilas, H. D. Kumaraswamy of JDS, Anupriya Patel of Apinadhal, Sonelal, Jayant Choudhury of RLD, and Jitan Ram Manchi of Hindustani Awam Morcha are likely to get ministerial births. Eknath Shindis, Shiv Sena may be represented by Buldhana MP Pratap Rao Jadav, Ramdas Athawale, Rajya Sabha MP and Chief of BJP's long-term ally, Republic Party of India A, is also set to become minister and was at the meeting with the Prime Minister. Prahlad Joshi, who handled the parliamentary affairs portfolio in Modi II, former Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar and Madhya Pradesh leaders Shivaraj Singh Chauhan and Jyoti Raditya Sindhya may also get ministerial posts. BJP's leaders from the Northeast, Sarbananda Sonowal and Kiran Rijiju may return as ministers with some more names doing the rounds. Among the other names doing the round are G. Krishna Reddy, Shobha Karandalaje, B.L. Verma, Bhandi Sanjay Kumar, Nityananda Rai, Giriraj Singh, Suresh Gopi and Rajiv Chandrasekhar. The BJP's tally of 240, 32 short of the majority mark has catapulted Chandrababu Naidu and Nitish Kumar into the position of kingmakers. BJP sources, however, had said that they won't give away the four crucial portfolios in the cabinet committee on security. That are home, defense, finance and external affairs. TDP which won 16 seats and JDU which bagged 12 are learned to have demanded plum central roles. The announcement of the Prime Minister Modi's new team will show whether that has happened. From the JDU, former party chief Rajiv Ranjan Singh and Rajya Sabha MB and former Bihar Chief Minister Karpudi Thakur's son Ramnath Thakur may get the ministerial post. TDP MP's Dr. Chandrasekhar Pemasani and Ram Mohan Naidu Kincharapu are getting ministerial posts in Modi 3. Party leader Jay Galla announced on X. News Desk, Global.